Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can pair your Android phone with your Magnavox HD streaming player to push YouTube content to your screen. Now, I really don't know how this works because I haven't tried it out yet, but when I was sifting through the YouTube app on the Magnavox HD streaming player, I saw this pair option here. As you can see here under the My YouTube section, you see Sign In, and right next to that is Pair, and it says Pair Your Screen with a Mobile Device. So I assume this is going to work with Android and iOS. So I'm going to click OK on this pair function here, and it says send videos from your mobile to your TV. On your phone or tablet, go to youtube.com slash pair, and then enter in this number here. So I brought up the web page on my mobile phone here, which is the Motorola Atrix 4G, and I'm going to enter in the code that appears on my screen here. So right here on the web page, it says, I don't know if you can see it there, but it says open YouTube for mobile and it gives a link there. So I'm going to click on that. And it's opening it up. And then it says go to the grid icon here. So I'm going to click on that. And then down here it says add TV. So I'm going to click on that. And it says add YouTube TV. Get pairing code for screen. So I'm going to enter the pairing code as it shows up on my television there. And now I'm going to click Add YouTube TV. And let's see if it pairs. Now if you look on the screen, it says Connected Devices, YouTube Android. So let's see if I can feed a video to my television set here. So I'm going to click on one of my videos here, which is, let's just pick the Logitech Wireless Touch Keyboard. And let's see what it does here. I don't know if you can read it here, but up here it says connected to living room. It's a little blurry there, but uh, there, you can probably see it now. It says connected to living room, play or add to queue. I'm going to hit play, and let's see what happens. Okay, in this video, I'm going to do an unboxing of the Logitech Wireless Touch Keyboard. All right, I turned the sound down, and it's playing from the device onto my television set right now. And the quality seems pretty good. Let me actually see if I can control the video from my phone. I'm going to hit pause here. Okay, it was pretty instantaneous. First time didn't register, probably because I'm reaching around my camera here on the tripod, and uh, it's kind of an awkward position for me. But it was pretty instantaneous after I hit pause and when the video actually paused on the screen there. Let me press play again here. All right, let's see if I can scrub through the video here. All right. I scrub through, as you can see, and there we go. It picks up right where I... Put it. So it's a nice little feature to have because you're probably more apt to be able to type on your Android phone a lot easier than you would on an on-screen keyboard on one of these media streamers. Now I'm assuming it works on iOS as well, but I don't know for sure. Let me check that out right now. Okay, I followed the same exact instructions that I did with the Android phone, and let me just show you here what I get. It allows you to pair to an iOS device, so I'm going to do the exact same thing on here and just see how it works. Probably pretty much the same. Okay, now you'll notice down here that it says Connected Devices, YouTube, iPad. So let's see if I can bring up another one of my videos and play it on the device here. I'm going to click on my video here, which is the Roku 2 XS versus the Google TV Logitech Review. All right, I get the same exact interface because this is a web interface, so you would expect them to be the same. But as you can see there, it says connected to living room. I have the option of playing or adding it to a queue. I'm going to hit play here. And there we go.
looks like the quality is good and it's very smooth. The movement is very smooth. So that's good to know. And it also has on-screen controls here. So let me press pause and it's very responsive. Let me hit play and it kicks back on. Let me scrub through the video here. And there we go. Picks up right where I scrubbed to. So again, a really cool feature on this device. This device is limited in a lot of the features that it does offer, but it is a very inexpensive device. So that pretty much does it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And as always, if you want to help out my channel, give me a thumbs up or favorite this video. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.